sponsored in part by OurDailySoft.com, handcrafted kitchen accessories and tools, crafted by Chef Felicia Wilde for the home cook or the professional chef. Made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA. Shipping United States and international. Visit OurDailySalt.com. Welcome to Canny What You Grow. I'm Holly Baird. This is presented to you by the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com. Well, today we are making pear butter, and pear butter is something that is quite delicious to eat. It's kind of an alternative to jam, and you can also do this with apples, but since we have pears, that's what we're making it with and it makes a great gift for the holidays as well. What we've done already is we've taken our pears, we've peeled them, and then we've chopped them. Now we're putting them into a food processor because we're gonna chop them down. Now people have different ways of doing this. I'm doing this in the slow cooker, so this is what I find most effective. Okay, so then we're just gonna do this in batches until we have all these pears chopped down. And I'm just gonna get them in there. Nice thing about using the slow cooker is that it does, it cooks it down for you. And then you don't have to worry about watching it, watching the stove, you know, making sure it doesn't overcook or something like that. So just get the pears in here. Okay, so we got all of our pears into, rather the pureed pears into the slow cooker now. I did about 16 pounds of pears, and so for every eight pounds of pears with this recipe, you're gonna add one cup of sugar. Now I'm doing this in the slow cooker. This is kind of a, a two-day process, so you want to you want to cook in the slow cooker overnight. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up here. You want to stir it well. Make sure that the sugar gets well combined into the puree. And then we're gonna add some cinnamon sticks. Now some people will add different spices. They might add a little nutmeg, maybe some allspice. I like to just keep it simple with the sugar and the cinnamon. That's my style. You want, like I said, you wanna put it on low. And then you just go ahead. It's gonna cook down. Some people cook it down without the lid on. That's up to you, I like to do it with the lid. So I'm just gonna get this stirred up here. And this gives you a chance to like as you can see, I think I found some I found some seeds, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and get those out. And you can just check for stuff like that. So uh, there's kind of a bigger chunk in there, but I'm gonna leave that because it'll cook down. Alright. Alright, so we've got this nicely all combined. Then I'm gonna take about three cinnamon sticks, maybe four. Um, and I'm just going to add them in there to, to give them some flavor. You want to remove these. Make sure you remove these before you go ahead and you can the peppers. I'm going to do four. Just push them down. All right. So then what you want to do is you just take your lid, put it on. Make sure it's on low, set it in a safe place where it won't be bothered overnight. And then in the morning, you should have pear sauce. You check in the morning, maybe it's not where you want it to be. Leave it when you go to work, come back, and then you're ready to go. We're going to show how to can it once it cooks down. Okay, so our pear butter is all done. And as you can see, it cooked down quite a bit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get it into jars and it's pretty easy. I'm going to do half pints. You put it in jars, you have about one quart inch headspace, and then you process it for 15 minutes. Okay? So let me go ahead and get the jar here. And you can let this cook down however long you want, whatever consistency you decide. This is what I like. And the rest of the jars in the oven, that's where we like to put them to keep them warm. space there. I'm going to go ahead and wipe my rim off just in case. I don't think there's anything on there, but you never know. And then I'm going to get my lid. 
pera na yun. I'm gonna get that in the can. I'm gonna get the rest of these done. Okay, so we ended up getting eight half pints. I'm just going to lower this down. All right, then we're going to put our lid on. And these process for 10 minutes. And then in 10 minutes, we'll just go ahead and take them up. Okay, so our 10 minutes is up. I'm just going to take this off. And I'm going to pull my rack up. Okay, I'm just going to pull these out one by one. And you always want to put them on some sort of towel or something so that they don't go directly onto your table or counter so that the cool coolness of that doesn't cause the jars to crack. Okay, so there you have it. We have some beautiful pear butter. It was easy to do in the crock pot. Did take some time for it to cook down in the crock pot. I'll go ahead and leave the recipe in the show notes for you. Again, I'm Holly Beard, and this has been Canning What You Grow. For more organic gardening and food preserving, visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.